Ever had a killer app idea at 2am but no clue how to code it? Yeah, me too. What if you could build the app anyway, in minutes, literally minutes or less, just by describing it in English? Sounds great, right? Welcome to the world of Replit's AI App Builder. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to build some awesome real-world apps from a habit tracker to a meal planner to a mini CRM for your business just by typing prompts into Replit like you're chatting with a helpful tech wizard. So let's dive right in. If you go to the website that's replit.com, you'll land on the homepage right here. And right off the bat, you'll see here the app builder that is highlighted in the home page. Now you can see some idea suggestions here by Replit. So for example, make a game for a party group that helps build customize their dream garden with magical elements. And you can get other suggestions or just randomly change it. As you can see here, it changes to a whole nother category of app. And you can write a prompt from scratch. Now, first of all, you need to sign up or log in. So I'm going to sign up pretty quickly from the top right here. And I'm going to continue with Google. And just like that, my account is created. Now I need to provide some information. So for example, first name, John, last name, Smith. And what do you or where do you plan to use Replit for personal use? Okay, continue. I'll continue with the starter free plan. However, you do have the Replit core and the teams here. And you can go ahead and compare the plans to see which one suits your needs best. Now I'll go with the starter one. Okay, let's start creating. Now here is the prompt box where you can describe your app and Replit will create it for you. Now I'll show you some apps idea here. And if you don't know or not sure how to describe your app, you can simply go to ChatGPT, just type in your app idea or what you want your app to do and ask ChatGPT to generate the prompt for you. And I did exactly that. Let's build the first app, which is a daily habit tracker. So the prompt is build a daily habit tracker web app where users can add habits, mark them as complete each day and track their weekly streaks. Use a modern UI with a dashboard, charts for progress and local storage to save data. Now, of course, you can modify any part of this prompt. However, for me, I'll just start building. I need a simple habit tracker. Simply click on start building and it's gonna create the app. Simple as that. Okay, doing its magic. And as you can see, the app is building. Okay, now here they give you like an initial plan or an initial version for the habit tracker. Okay, approve and start creating. And just like that, as you can see here, it is now doing its magic to create your app in the preview window on the right. And it is done. It's named habit flow. As you can see here, your dashboard, your analytics, you can go here to your analytics, you can view the settings and it's not done yet. However, as you can see, it created a visually stunning app that would have taken me hours of coding if I knew any coding language to create it. And as you can see here, you have the today's habits. The one marked are the one that are done. And you can see here the streak. This is the seven day streak. Of course, this is a new habit or like a new habit. So the zero days streak or I miss the day, so it's zero day streak. And as you can see, you have the categories, you have your quick actions, and you have your weekly progress right here. It's not generated yet. However, it should show here once it is done. Of course, it's taking some time. However, you can see here the amount of effort the AI is doing to generate this app. So this is not like a simple app or a simple interface. It's a complex app full of features. Now I'll just leave it to fully generate and let's go to the home screen and let's try another app idea. And this time it's going to be an educational flashcard app. So I'm trying different categories of apps and this is the prompt. Create a flashcard app where users can create a deck of cards with questions and answers. Of course, you can add more details as you wish. 
I'm just gonna start building and as you can see here it is thinking here and it will create the app and after thinking for a while it gives me the initial version and then approve and start building the app and again I should be able to preview the app right here once it is generated once again another pro level app is created as you can see here you have your dashboard, you have your decks, you can browse and you can see these successes and you can add a new deck of cards. As you can see here, you have 152 cards studied, 8 decks completed and the accuracy is 94. And again, you can wait for it to generate and as you wait for it to generate, it adds new features. So quick actions, today's progress and lots more. Now here it is still creating the app. If I go to the home screen, I can see both my apps that are created. If I go back to the habit tracker, I can see that it is done generating and now I can interact with the interface or like the preview. I can, for example, add a new habit, let's say test habit. Okay, create habit. And as you can see total habits created. This is the test habit. Let's mark it done. And the insights or the statistics and the weekly progress is now updated so you can interact with your apps in real time now let's go back home and this time let's create a meal planner app and this is the prompt that i'll use create a meal planner app where users can select meals for the week and add the details that i want and click on start building again it'll generate the initial version and then i can click to continue creating it okay the initial version is created it named the app meal master Okay, approve and continue. And again, the app will be ready to preview in a moment. And voila, the app is created. It's called Meal Plan Pro. You have your dashboard, meal planner, recipes, shopping lists. Here you can add a meal. You can see all your meals here. You can add to breakfast, to lunch or to dinner. And as it progresses, again, you can see more features added. Now, the good thing, as I already showed you, is that you can, once you get home or you go to your home screen, the apps here in the background will continue the creation process until they continue. So it's not like you go to the home screen and the progress on the app building is stopped. So basically, you can create more than one app at once and leave them in the background to continue or to finish creating. Now, finally, let's create a CRM app for your business. And this is the prompt that I'm going to be using. Create a simple CRM or customer relationship management dashboard where users can add, edit, and delete client contacts. And you can add as many details as you want. Okay, now start creating. And again, the same thing. It's going to generate the initial version and then I can start creating the app. Okay. Now approve plan and start. And you know what's gonna happen. You'll get the preview here on the right in a moment. And here it is, the CRM dashboard. Now you can add clients, you can export, you can view all statuses, all tags. You can view here that you have 24 clients. Of course, this is like a dummy or demo data here to show you the features. And as you wait for it to continue or continue thinking, it'll add more features here. Now, of course, you have full control over any app. Once it's done creating, you can edit any aspect of it. Now, as I showed you here, this platform is great if you want to create professional looking apps in less than a minute with a simple prompt that you can even get from ChatGPT. You don't even know how to write prompts. So I do encourage you, if you want to create stunning apps, to go ahead and check this amazing platform.